Howdy. David Jones here. My wife Stacy working the camera. Wanted to uh, spend a few minutes talking to you about meditation. A lot of videos have been showing up showing you how to do sitting forms of meditation since we're mostly housebound. But I'd like to tell you a little bit about walking meditation. There are a lot of different forms of walking meditation. Some have different goals. The way I approach it is I like to get out of the house and go into the woods or somewhere where there's a fair amount of nature around and just walk paying attention to my environment. When you sit and meditate, you're looking within. But when you're walking uh, out in nature, it's best to look outside yourself, to connect with, with nature, to connect with the world that goes on. Even if social media makes it seem like the world has stopped, it hasn't. Uh, the world will pass through this time and will be on the other side. So what I like to do as I walk is to listen to the animals. Uh, there's dogs, there's squirrels. I like to look at things. Flowers will be out soon. Um, I, I listen, I see things. I can smell uh, the smell of nature. And it helps me connect to the world around me. So the idea is specifically to connect yourself to the larger world, your environment. While you walk, it's good to uh, uh, feel your body, feel how it reacts as you're walking. How, does, how do your legs feel? How does the feet feel in your shoes? In this way, you're mindfully walking. You're intentionally walking. You're walking not to get somewhere, not to accomplish anything, although you will get somewhere, you will get some exercise. But the goal for walking meditation is simply to reconnect you with the world. And I think right now that's a good idea for all of us. Thanks for listening.